हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल होप यू गाइस डूइंग वेल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ एजर पाइपलाइन दिस इज द अनदर वीडियो ऑन एजर टूल्स एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सीरीज इन विच वी हैव ऑलरेडी पब्लिश टू वीडियोस सो लेट्स टू स्टार्ट विथ एजर पाइपलाइन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वील डिस्कस वॉट इज एजर पाइपलाइन so azure pipeline is automated uh, set of process that help developer to compile build deploy that codes to other computation platform and it is continuous delivery tool similar to open source uh, tools like jenkins and codeshare the sole goal of this pipeline is that there is no manual intervention all the changes are automatically executed in the project whenever humans are handling such a process there should be some possibility for human error so while doing this same repetitive boring task uh, we can use the automation so with automation it works seamlessly and once it's been configured so it is one time practice we need to set up once and once all the things been configured properly it will work very effectively so basically this is the diagram uh, which include all the azure tools and services being used in azure devops so already we learn two things azure repos and azure bots today we are going to learn azure pipeline in future we'll have uh, certain videos on artifact and test plan so each and every tool is belong to each stage of devops let's say the azure repos is belong to some code pipeline is been um, between build and test and release the azure board is similar a uh, kind of a web board where we can just manage each and every task and which where we can just integrate all the these things artifact is something uh, we'll use before deployment uh, artifact is stored in particular uh, ci cd pipeline and test plan is something where before uh, when we know apply those by uh, plans in our uh, continuous integration model so this is basically a diagram where we can just include all the tools and technologies and services of azure on different different stage of azure devops now let's start with azure pipeline so azure pipeline contain four things functionality first one is build and test your code project so first main and the basic purpose of the azure pipeline to build your build and test your code second is functionality you can use azure pipeline for both continuous integration and continuous delivery so basically pipeline is consider certain thing like we need to continuously integrate the code and then apply those test plus uh, as well as some thing that you want to add as a integration part also been add a delivery with and mach and machine or whether it is a app plan uh, sorry app services or docker or kubernetes or uh, self hosted machine with iis or any of the machine third one is languages it support uh, many languages like python java ruby uh, c sharp and many more and the last one is deployment you can deploy your applications to multiple target or environment it is not being uh, limited to one or two environment it has certain uh, multiple environment options where we can deploy our source code so in this video we are going to set up a react based application but for that uh, i'm go first i'm going to upload a uh, create and upload a source code in azure repo second i will create a azure app service with react third one is create azure build and use release pipeline and last one is take testing of deployment but once been set up build and release pipeline we will change the source code and validate whether automatically release and build pipeline executed or not and it 
shows the output on the end deployment or not so let's first uh, create azure wrapper and upload my existing source code which is being actually created with default uh, react environment application welcome page so it is not a, a big or any you know uh, pre-configured application but you as for testing you can use your application so now let me just first create a repository create new repository and let me name as react source let me add readme file and just click on create so this is the readme files now let me just navigate to my one of the blank folder and let me open the cmd let me add git clone and copy the HTTPS URL and let me put dot it asked me for the credentials so let me use my username okay now let me check the there is readme.md file now in my another folder I have created a build with all the configuration now let me just exclude this node module folder if you want to create a uh, application with node you can simply run command like npx create react hyphen app and application name let's say react app okay so simply this command will use to create a react app but i have already created uh, now let me copy this source code uh, let me just exclude readme as well because readme is already there and i'm adding source code over there now let me add the content git commit iphone am i am saying first commit git now run uh, now i'm pushing this source code git push I have commit now I'm just say git push origin and what is the default uh, branch name for the uh, repository is called main and let's say main now let me just refresh now here you can consider all the source code been uploaded now what's our next set uh, first we have already set up the azure repo now our second step is to create azure app services to create azure app i'm just navigating to my portal.azure.com and i'm just click on the app services and i'm just click on the create web app i'm using the existing uh, let's say resource group you can change now let me use some uh, unique name let's say tech server global this is my youtube channel link you can go and subscribe the channel now let me select the runtime let me some zoom out this now uh, next step is to select the runtime stack so I have created my this node with node 18 and I'm choosing windows as a platform. Now let me choose uh, east us 2. The remaining thing I'm put as it is as it is my uh, default and uh, just 
home page kind of application it is not that much configuration it is very small so i'm using the 1.75 gb and one cpu you can choose your pricing plan according to your application now let me click on review and create so there is no uh, different change i need to apply on the app service now let me click on create the web app so it will take some time meantime we can just uh, navigate to the azure devops and we'll start uh, other thing so now we have to create a build azure build so to create the azure build i need to click on the pipeline pipeline here you can see there are different options first i'm just introduce uh, these are the options first one is pipeline basically pipeline used to create a build pipeline or you can also say uh, something like for integration part then there is environment then there is release environment uh, sorry release pipeline then library task group and deployment so let's start with pipeline so let me click on create pipeline So here there is option for use classic editor. So there are different options you can uh, apply with Azure uh, Git, sorry Azure Repos, uh, Bitbucket, GitHub, then GitHub Enterprise, other Git subversion, and use classic editor. So in this example, I have certain classic uh, way and the custom thing that I want to apply uh, with my react application so i am going to choose use classic editor one more thing sometime it happened when you fresh set up the azure devops you are not getting this option so to get that particular option you just navigate to your organization setting and where you get some pipelines and there is option called staging and you just need to disable classic there is a two diff uh, uh, options uh, disable creation of classic pipeline if this is if this is on then you will not get this option so if you face same issue this uh, disable uh, of this option and same app thing happen with the release pipeline this is for build and this is for release so this is just for your uh, information if you get certain thing and you are not getting this option then you need to click uh, disable that particular setting now i'm click on the classic editor there are different source code again option so here i'm going to use azure git azure repos git and my repo react and default branch is main as i didn't use any of the different than main branch so i can use same so let me choose the main and click on the continue now let me select the empty job because i have certain thing that i need to be apply on manually name of the particular pipeline is react ci you can use your name and you can choose according to your requirement but i am putting as it is because my project name is react and i am putting react ci okay now i'm adding first agent job okay for that i'm just click on this first i am going to select i'm search for the npm so first one is we need to add 
npm so npm is basically used uh, to run the com npm commands to run the react application we need uh, npm okay so i'm just adding and i'm click on it so here you can see it is shows first command npm install now there is different command install or uh, publish so i am choosing only install you you can also clear npm ci install publish and custom okay so let me choose uh, install and now i'm adding one more npm and i'm click again add so this time i am choose npm custom so here you can see the display name is shows as a custom but here what i want to do run the command is to run the build okay so for that here i need to run com uh, run the command build run build and the command will be npm run build so i am going to change the display name as npm build so i can easily understand or identify if any of the other guy also going to use this pipeline then he or she can understand what you exactly uh, so i can just choose npm run build okay so now this is for our build now the next step is again add a new agent and i am going to search for publish publish and build artifact so after run the npm install and build what we need to do publish the artifact I'm adding this. Publish the build artifact. Now here you can see the publish and build artifact is basically used to publish your build structure or build artifact to that particular directory. So here the only thing I need to change is path to Publish. So I'm choosing build directory. Also, artifact name. You can change the default artifact name with drop to anywhere. Okay. So I am choosing as it is, and now I'm just click on save and queue. And save and run it will take some time so here it will run all these commands so let me pause this video and once been validate all the stage i'm just resume the video again okay uh, so now it's been completed here you can see each and every job has been completed like uh, first we have set uh, define npm install then npm run build then publish artifact so here you can consider there is uh, 15 files are uploaded 
So if you have a bulky or you know huge application, then you can consider more file, like hundred plus two hundred kind of thing. Okay. Now this your uh, first build pipeline has been created. Now let me just click on pipeline. Click on the React CI which I have added. So one thing I just want to add, it's adding a continuous deployment. For that we need to add a triggers and enable the continuous integration. Why I'm choosing this? Whenever the change occurred on the branch, it will automatically run the your continuous integration. So let me save and queue. Save. Let me check the uh, React. Now here you can see again it will automatically create triggered. Why? Because we made a changes from look uh, manual to automated. Okay. Meantime, we can just validate whether that app service is created or not. So I'm just uh, navigate to azure portal .com. Here I can see the my. Uh, that web app has been ready deployment detail all the things so let me navigate to resources so this tag server global has been created now just default one domain is all already been created let me just browse the url so it has been created and uh, with supporting node.js okay now let me validate again uh, it runs so meantime we can do we can just navigate to our release pipeline which has been a pipeline for the deployment or delivery so now click on the release and I'm just click on the release now the first one uh, is to select the template what you want to do so I, I just want to my uh, deploy my changes to Azure app so I'm just click on the this and stage name here you can give the stage name like production staging UAT so here uh, I'm just saying a uh, react deployment or say like prod simple now close it here I am now add the artifacts now project is react if you have more than one project you can select also apart from source you can uh, as we are using the build as a build arc, uh, artifact instead of source you have any azure repos git tfvc or uh, azure artifact git hub release azure containers uh, repository or docker hub or jenkins so you can choose your artifact from this kind of different different scenarios okay so uh, in our uh, in our project we have the build artifact so let me just click on the it shows the uh, react ci so it is a part of our pipeline the default version is latest you can define this option specify at the time of release uh, latest from the build with tag with specific branch with tag and specific version so I am choosing latest because every time whenever the uh, I upload my source code with uh, deploy pipeline automatically it having the latest version okay so I am just choosing latest and so resource alias is react ci also i'm click on the continuous deployment trigger same as we did it on the deploy deploy pipeline i'm adding in release pipeline as well so here i'm just enabling and uh, pull request also added specify the branch with main if any changes on the as a pull request also triggered and run this pipeline so now I'm close 
continuously. Now here I need to add task. So deploy to Azure app, but here I need to define my subscription and app type. So let me click on this. Uh, my default is Azure subscription one. Click on authorize. It will validate your username and password. It take little bit time to authorize. Meantime, we can just validate whether the uh, the source pipeline is been ready or not. Because we have made one change and just validate. Yeah. Second, uh, first commit also with hashtag thirty two description ID is been ready. Now, web app on Windows and let me drop down. And choose the name tech server global now let me save okay and first time I'm just going to create a release prod automatically and create now let me navigate to release also you can click from here automatically the prod has been triggered and it uh, on the now it's deployment in progress. Uh, there is some error. Let me check. Let, let me just pause this video and I'm just back with uh, what is the issue. Uh, sorry guys for uh, wait for the scenario. Uh, actually, uh, we missed one thing. So let me, I have just recreated the release pipeline. Now just click on the task. I'm just, I have click on the tech server global. Now, just click on, uh, again select on the uh, deploy Azure app server, where you get one option called package or folder. So here you need to just click on the react CI and drop folder. Just clear and drop. Okay, and now save. And now let me create release. So this means. So it took some time. So let me pause this video and I'm just back again once it's been completed so yes you can get a prod successfully deployed like in a slice download deploy and finalize so let me just navigate to my app and I'm click again on the URL so here you can see uh, default application of the react has been set up and run now uh, if you compare the previous one i just opened i didn't refresh this my no, previous page uh, so here you can see this is the default and this is one the new 
So now let me navigate uh, to the release pipeline. Here you can see one release is already there. Now let me edit it. It is automatically deployment triggered. Now, so now let me change some change uh, on the source code. For that I'm just adding, uh, opening my code and dot. Open in Visual Studio Code, change. Let me navigate to source and app.js let me remove this and I'm adding say welcome to tech server global and I'm adding Let me save and I'm adding this git add dot git commit hyphen m change the index let's say app dot js and git push origin main now it should be automatically triggered uh, once the change has so as far as i change the uh, app.js it will automatically trigger our, our build pipeline and now navigate to release as well here you can see the release 2 has been created Now let me just copy this and create a new page. Here you can see welcome to tech server global. So in this way you can just apply your changes and uh, automatically it will trigger and it will uh, run the new build and release pipeline. In this way, you can apply continuous integration as well as continuous delivery. Hope you guys find uh, all the things uh, and clear all the, your doubts uh, with this video. So kindly subscribe the channel and like the videos and also been upload your valuable input and com on comment section if you find any issue or you know any improvement on my current video delivery i can just try to improvise that thing as well thank you thank you very much